Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in the JavaFX series. This time I'm going to show you how to use hyperlinks, or just links, in your JavaFX applications. So let's jump right into it. What we want to do first is create our uh, root node here, vbox, we'll call it root, uh, vbox, there we go, root is equal to new vbox, just like that. And then now we'll do, we need a scene to add that to, forgot to make a scene, so is equal to new scene. Boom, now we can add that in there, okay? And then we need to set the stage scene, so set scene, scene. All right, so now we can make a hyperlink if we want to. So to make a hyperlink, which is another name for a link, that's just the terminology for it. So if we want to create a hyperlink, all we gotta do is do hyperlink, import that from JavaFX is equal to, or link is equal to new hyperlink. There we go. So we just created a new link here, and then inside of here, if we want to, we can provide a parameter, which is gonna be the text that is displayed for the link, okay? Like click me or something like that. So we can say click me boy, like that, okay? So now we can add that link to our scene, or to our root, really. Um, so root.getchildren.add. We'll do add all if you wanna have multiple link, just like that, and that should be it. All we need to run this, so run And there we go. So we have a cool little link here, as we can see. Um, it says, click me, boy. And it's nice and blue. Very small, but we can increase stuff in the future. Um, next episode, I'll be showing you how to you know, work with styling and stuff like that. So don't worry. So that's a link here. We can click this and do stuff with it. But nothing happens when we click it. So if you want to make something happen when we click this, all we got to do is add a event listener. So we could do a link, which is the name of our object here, dot um, what's it called set on action so we're gonna tell it what happens when the action happens and there's two ways we can do it we could type it out manually or we can do a lambda expression so e this is gonna be the lambda expression by the way so e like that open that up and inside of here we can um, have our code that's gonna be executed when the link is clicked so anything that is inside of here will ha be triggered whenever the link is clicked so we could do s out and we could say the link was smashed all right so whenever someone clicks the link, it should print this, print this into the console. So let's run this, see what happens. And so it says, click me boy, and watch the console. Whenever I click this, one, two, three, boom, it says the link was smashed. So as soon as I clicked it, it said the link was smashed, and I can spam it if I want to. So it's just gonna listen for whenever a click happens, and when the click happens, that will happen. Okay, very, very simple. So if you wanna do that, you can do that, but if you wanna type it out like this, you can also, so link dot set on action. Inside of here, we can specify a new event handler. So new event handler and action. Okay, it already typed it out for us. That's kind of cool. And the same thing happens inside of here. So inside of here, every time the event is triggered, this will run basically. So uh, S out, this link is clicked. Very, very simple. So we can run this and it should do the exact same thing. There we go, same thing, right? So that's how I do that. It's a simple event uh, listener for a link so we can make stuff happen when the link is clicked. So I want to show you one more example before we go with this episode. I know it was kind of short, but I want to show you more, one more example. Um, so by the way, we can also do the same thing we did with a label. We can add a picture right next to the link. So if you want to add an image, we could do that. So we're going to show you an example program. So let's have a label here. Label text. Import that, by the way, from JavaFX. is equal to new label. And then let's add something that says link not touched. So what we're going to do here is make a little program so whenever the link is, you know, clicked, it's going to change this label here to say something else. So it's kind of cool, right? So we do, let's add an image to it, by the way, add an image to the link, not to the label, you'll see. So image view, um, there we go, image is equal to new image view, like that. And I'm just going to copy this link here I've already set up. It's going to be a cool little smiley face, I believe. I hope that's what that is, not something bad um, there we go semicolon on the end so now we can have our link here we're going to create one so hyperlink and we can say smack me image view and then add the image inside of it or right beside it I mean so that should work and then now what we want to do is have it or we need to add the stuff the controls to our scene here so we can do text and then link just like that and we don't have to have image because it's already being added as a child node to the link which is going to be our parent node for the image yeah so let's run this see what happens 
and there we go. So we get a cool link here and it has a little picture beside it, a thinking face. So it says, it says smack me. Nothing happens yet. So what we want it to do is when we click smack me, this should say like I've been smacked or something like that. Okay. So let's do that. So we need to do that. So to do that, we just simply need our event listener. So we could do link dot set on action E. We'll do a lambda expression here and we'll do set, open this up and do, and we could do text, which is going to be the name for our label dot set text. So if you want to change the text of the label, um, we could do that. So we could do link, we'll say I've been smacked just like that. So that should work whenever we click it. Very, very simple. Okay. There you go. So now it says link not touched and watch this. Boom. And now it says I've been smacked. Really, really cool, right? So that's how you do that. Very, very simple. So hopefully now that you know how to do something like this, hopefully you can imagine the possibilities in a program that's more advanced, the things that you can do with this knowledge. Um, we're going to be doing some very, very cool things with stuff like this. So stay tuned. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for links. I know it was very short, but that's really awesome. Um, but it's really cool to know. So if you have any questions about what I showed you today, you can ask a question in the comment section below. Or you can join our Discord server. I'd rather you join our Discord server because we have a lot of people, about 300 people now, who, you can, who can help you out or just be your friend, right, if you don't have any friends. So, you know, if you want someone to talk to or anything like that, you can join our Discord server or hang out with us. Anything you want to do, ask for help. But do that. And then finally, we have all the code from today's episode in the description below. If you want to check out the code and bookmark it for future use, make sure you do that. The link is there for you to be used. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, leave a like if you want to see more. Subscribe and peace.